The following section deals with examples of voices grouped according to the various recording methods. In collaboration with technical experts, the experimenter has evolved six different methods of recording. A. Microphone B. Radio frequency C. Frequency transmitter D. Diode E. Goniometer and F. Psychophone The reader will find details about the various types in the appropriate section of Breakthrough. Microphone Voices The experimenter states that in his opinion man cannot grasp the events after death with his intellect or even with his intuition. A voice replies in German, Er kann. Er kann. Er kann. Er kann. Er kann. He can. At the end of a recording session, the experimenter says that he is tired. A voice comes in with Von ne Nut. French and Swedish. Good night. A request by the experimenter that the voice entities should tell him from where they came is answered by a voice saying Seelisches Land German Land of the Soul Radio Frequency Voices Professor Loritz who was a close friend of the experimenter promised that he would manifest, if possible, after death. We hear a voice say, Loritz, Pienax Klat. Latvian, Loritz will join. A female voice, probably Margarete Petrowski's, says Eine Notote. German and English, one who is not dead. Frequency transmitter voices. Coste. Tu te tova mote. This is Latgalian. Coste, here is your mother. Te tu raksnieks padot maju. Latvian. You are the author here. Give me a house. Diode voices. The voice of an entity whom the experimenter does not know, but who calls herself Agnes, a helper, probably remarks here on unfavorable recording conditions. Agnes, furchtbar slicked. German and Latvian. Agnes, terribly bad. A voice, later identified as that of a man who lived and died in a place called Kirnbach in the Black Forest, Germany, says, Wartet auf Walter von Kirnbach. Ja, 
German, wait for Walter from Kirnbach. A voice calls James Joyce. Now a voice, which may be Winston Churchill's, says, Mark you, make believe, my dear, yes. Followed by Winston Churchill. The following sentence, heard at the end of a recording session, indicates that the voice entities have their own transmitting stations. Wat nun gute Nacht von Zitadi? Russian and German. Now good night from Zitadi. Goniometer Voices. This recording method was developed by Theodor Rudolf an electrical engineer specializing in high frequencies. He has himself recorded the following examples, which have been taken from a total of approximately 90 voice texts received by him. The voices have the same characteristic features as those recorded by other methods. It is interesting to note that the voices in these examples speak mainly Russian and Latvian, two languages unknown to Mr. Rudolf. German is used more rarely. The texts have been deciphered by the experimenter after Mr. Rudolf had verified the experimenter's name and some German words. A Russian voice says, On prosil bulku vo snie. He begged for bread in a dream. A statement referring to an acquaintance of the experimenter, whose name is Kankan, -Kan, and probably meaning that life lasts but a moment. Tu stunda, Kankan. -Kan. Latvian. You are but a moment, Kankan. -kan. Psychophone Voices. This method was evolved by Franz Seidel, electrical engineer from Vienna. His apparatus has produced some very plainly audible voices. These bear the same typical traits as all other voices recorded by different methods. Again, Russian and Latvian are the main languages used, together with some German though Mr. Seidel also does not speak either Russian or Latvian. The word flusigon, which is used in the following sentence, does not exist in the German language. It may be a corruption of the word fluidum, which means, in a symbolical sense, atmosphere or magnetism. The voice says, Du hast kein flusigon. German, you have no flusigon. Now a Latvian voice. Tauta must yes. People, awake. And in answer to a question as to who is speaking, a voice replies, Toti. Distorted German. 
the dead. Um, perhaps you could announce who you are, that's very important. And um, you can come aside tonight.